sleep with a prostitute and the condom bus and you don't get yourself checked up, then you're a, you're a, you're a big waste. Yeah, very irresponsible. You're a big waste. Yeah, that's very ir- irresponsible. Brother, I swear, if I ever done ch- ch- slept with a prostitute and a condom bus, I would, my heart would stop. Because my vision of what they've got is crazy. Like, the, ah, my heart would stop. <laughs> I come home that night and, babes, you okay? I just need to yeah. go to the hospital tomorrow. I'd yeah. want to test tomorrow. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be, um, you just confess. <laughs> yeah, I'd be paro. You think you're going to dead anyway? You think? Check, check, back in the building yes. for another episode. Another but guess episode. what? This one is a late episode. Apologies. You didn't have to say, you didn't have to tell them. No, I told them already, didn't it? In the, in, I put it on the... That's album. what I'm saying, so you have to tell them again. Are you uh, fighting for them? No, but I just respect and love the Patreon, them that spend them hard-earned money for, you know what I mean? It's quite disappointing for some people because they're like, oh, like they were looking forward to it, so and apologies. If, uh, you, and people, you see C6 is apologising, so you must know, say... C64 while the show is late because I'm not apologizing for nothing. I'm I, not I'm sorry. Be, I can keep it's, it real. Yeah, I can keep yeah, it real. So we'll I, let me let me just keep it real. So we we're supposed to do it on Thursday. You cancelled Thursday, and we said Friday. That's fine because I agreed to it. No, you cancelled Thursday because you was fucking running late. Okay, I cancelled Thursday. Okay, cool. But I agreed to it same way. <laughs> anyway, boom, and then we 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 said Friday, and then I just. Then you called me and was like, where are you? I totally forgot we was even supposed to do it. So it's one of them things. And then obviously I had a very busy weekend, so there was no way it was going to be done before Sunday. So here we are. Love and appreciation to you all. Okay. As we Whatever. move. Anyway, big up the patrons. Love you lot. That's why um, this is this is like a, a, a full-time job to me now because you lot are paying customers. So we have to make sure that every week we deliver a full crisp episode there to you, you. see it there yeah I, that no joking no repeat shows no half shows no cut shows no edit business give you your full thing because you are paying customers we don't know how you get your income so we're not trying to exactly mess about with All your income that. Tell them shut again. up don't do that don't do that don't 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 come tell them again don't come um disrespect my no I'm, I'm 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 co-signing you're co-signing but you're taking the piss you shouldn't be co-signing you should be very sorry for very who sorry for I'm full of sorry, man. I'm full of you sorry. You understand? So anyway, want to big up a few people. Want to big up LP and Chantel. They are elephanters. You get me? They yeah. watch Elephant in the Room religiously on the big TV. Yeah. And so I just want to big up Chantel and LP. Yeah, big up. Big up you. They're from South as well, South yeah. people. Oh, you come understand? on, man. You know I love my South people. Them, you know? Whatever. LP, big up yourself. Chantel, was it? Yeah. Chantel. Yeah, man. Yes, yes. yes. Big up Chantel. Yeah. She's called she used to call Chantel Breast, but she's got a man now, so she has just Chantel. You understand? Why she, are you even saying that? Because that was her name, Chantel yeah, Breast. Why are you saying it though? And I'm just that saying you gotta let go, isn't it? Like so she, listen. She has let go. That's I'm, I'm just talking but about. Why are you talking it? Because I'm a talking, man. Why are man should thump in your mouth? Don't do that. I'm saying it is Don't do that because now you're gonna think she's gonna think that man's a pom pom because he can't thump in my mouth. <laughs> Tell me in my mouth, I live where? That's <laughs> that. Help is my dog. He, he right, got, yes, sir. They live hands. right, yes, sir. Small hands. I'm not saying, yes, sir. It's, <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. Well, that's tickled before. Isn't it? Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, big them up. No, big, big them up. up. <laughs> love and appreciation every time. <laughs> no, we definitely appreciate all of the love and support. Bro, like, I'm yeah. telling you, it's crazy. I was walking through Carnival. I was getting stopped. I felt like, like I was Chris Brown to us, Club. Yeah, you look like Chris Brown. Uh, I don't. Fair. No, 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 no. You're no. skin. But yeah, no, to be honest, the love is real, man. It's out there. I know. That's why I didn't even go carnival. One person wanted to go carnival because I felt I wanted my ego to be massaged for a bit. But then I thought, no, the walking up and down is not worth the ego massage, to be fair. And then I saw you on the floor and I thought, you are a pagan. That would have came. Because unless I got somewhere secured like that, then I'm not going to go. Why am I a pagan? Because you didn't tell me that you Bro, had secure you don't like flow walking, and also you, you don't like walking you had around. Float. You had a flow. I had I played on three sounds. And a float, three sounds and a float. You'd have been walking around like a madman. You'd have been cussing, acting like you'd have, you wouldn't have liked it. Well, to true. be honest, yeah, I had a set, yeah, at um, People Sound, mm. and then I had a set at Kilowatt, and they were half an hour apart, but they're technically a three minute walk. And it took me forty five minutes to get from one to the next. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And then I got this big rack sack on. It's like, bruv. It wasn't the one. 
So when I see you like you booked up to play carnival, yeah, all these DJs and all I see I see enough like celebrity grime artists there yeah. and all that. Do they get paid to be there? No, my carnival's a love thing. Oh, it's a love, it's isn't a it? Love thing. Because there's no where's the money coming from? It's a love thing. Do you, bro, do you know what I've realized? Do you know everybody in carnival pays to be in carnival? So the people that make car- the money are the, the vendors. But they pay a lot of money to be there. But the vendors that, yeah. make money. I but know. everyone else, you see the you see the people that do the costume? Mm. The individuals pay for their own costumes, you know. I swear. Blood. The individuals pay for their costumes. So you see like the the, the, the lady walking with the big she paid for that. And they're like two, three bags sometimes. They five bills, eight a bag, two bags. They pay for their own stuff. Like Carnival is a love thing and it's for the culture. But wow. people pay. And the DJs are usually free. The grime artists pass through when they're at Rampage and they run they run up and do their thing. It's free. I even see Craig David jump on a on a sound and ah oh, Yeah, I see chips. Yeah, there's nothing of them up there. Yeah, it's free, blood. It's love. It's all love. It's all love. So it's a free thing. There's okay. some places like so you see like the Red Bull might have a stage. Yeah. They might pay because their thing is set different because they're branded, they got sponsorship, and then boom. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you if you're working with a sound, it's a love thing. <laughs> yeah. So so basically then you just confessed on a live podcast that you're Ponani. Right. Because you went you you went on one sound, squeeze through people for fifteen minutes, sweat up yourself and soil yeah. up yourself, mm. that, and go to a next sound. Then you you left that from that one, soil up yourself even more, stink of people's beer or cigarette smoke or one bag of Ross Clark things yeah. to the next sound. Yeah, and then you went home with less money than less you went money there. Than I left my yard with. But here no but this is but, no, here no, what, though, but, but, but what it is is it's about the kid. love though, isn't it? It is about the love. No one loves you. So this is like this is like this is like. So why would you think I'm giving back the love? God, no one don't love you. No one don't. No one's gonna say. No one left Carnival. I say, you know what? I'm only going because <laughs> C6's <laughs> gonna be. <there. laughs> I'm only going Carnival because I heard C6's gonna be there. Like yeah, I've never, I've never, I've never actually heard it, heard a Carnival before, but I heard C6 promote it, so I'm gonna go and have a look at this thing. Well, I wonder, yeah, I wonder what station to get out of because I don't know where about. No, bro, it's, it's, it's about the love. It's about the love. It's about the love. And if you don't understand the culture, but you know what? I have seen you work loads of gigs for free. Bro. I have seen you work loads of gigs for free, bro. So when you're done, the, well, hold on. call it Ali Button. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You're Ali Button. Hold on a second. Work for nothing. All right, I might be Ali Button. No problem. Cool. But when you, when you, when you, when you, right, trad all the way from Yasso, eh, trad because I know you know so these times I know you might even beg a ride or get you know yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. beg a ride boom yeah, phew, mm-hmm. down old Tiger's head on a Wednesday, and it's you and seven people in there. Yeah, and. How much you get paid for that? Nothing. Ali Button. <laughs> Ali Button. Ali Button. <laughs> Mr. 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 Seventy Five Thousand Followers. Yeah, man, catch me down Old Tiger's head this Wednesday. Seven somebody, and three of them are bar staff. One security, and the other one is another comedian. Can I say something to you? That's Ali a stupid Ali, that's Why? a stupid analogy because you, 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 that's not a comedy show. We're, I'm getting there to we're getting there to practice our craft. For the love. Yeah, for no to practice. For, for the love. Not love. In front of to who? Practice. In front of who? If it's seven, sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's twelve. What's the difference? I was practicing DJing. You weren't. I was. But I'm, you wasn't. I was practicing. You're a seasoned professional. Yeah, I was practicing. <laughs> You're a seasoned professional. Yeah, I had to practice. Yeah? Season in the game. And so are you. Well seasoned. You don't like them jerk chicken <laughs> wearing it for three days. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. two day marinade. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I hear you, but yeah, we're the same because we know when we're it's not, not the same. I'm not gonna do what you did. But you, but you, but you, I'm I, not see, gonna... I see you on the bus. You take a bus from North <laughs> London down to Lee Green. Don't yeah? try to I justify. See you on the bus. It doesn't, you know, it is. You're picturing in your head if you can, you know what, for real, I'd even deep it like that. No, I know. I am a bro, dickhead. You, you, listen, I'm a dickhead. You, let me tell you something. You, you Any single time that I step out my yard and I'm not getting paid. I know I'm not getting paid and it's bugging me. Even sitting here in your lounge bugs me. But you're getting paid, you dickhead. Yeah, but I'm not getting paid getting enough paid. to be sitting in your lounge. You are. No, I'm not. You are. I dickhead. need to be paid more to sit in this no. room and to, to go through this abuse. Money. To go, good, good money. To go through this abuse. 
Can I say something we to you? More, like, I we know need, it's good we money. We need more ten pound tears. Can I say something to you? <laughs> You've gone back to being sea set agenda now because every minute you come in with new thing, new yeah, I took out the budget. Yeah, I took too much new equipment. I'm saying done. there's any money because boy, I'm brought the week. Boy, I had to buy this on my camera. I was like, fucking hell, brother. You're taking the budget <laughs> and right. telling me it's this price. I've got to believe you. I've got to tell you something. That's a your thing. If you decide to not have an active role in our expenditure budget, that's your business. You're going to have to take whatever I sign off. And that's the maddest that's thing fine. now. I'm, but what I'm you could do... you taking your word for it. You know that, don't you? My mum said, yeah, what's so I'm more trustworthy than you. Because the difference no, is... you act. That's, <laughs> you're the dangerous one. People know said why my mum will teeth you. You will go like, you're the gentle one. Yeah, but, it for real, it gone. No, all right, listen, the difference we, is this. Let them take it. Let's keep it real. <laughs> the dif- the difference one. is this, yeah. You, we're both generals in it. In our no, own no, 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 no. Hold on, listen. Don't do that. Hold on, hold on. Let me what finish. Let me finish. <laughs> what are we doing? Come yeah. on, Nigel. Let me finish. Right? <laughs> 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 if I was, to, I would say, I would go and buy the cheapest camera. Yeah, so we need a new camera. Cool. This camera retails at £1,500. But I'm going to do my searches and I'm going to find it for £700. Then I'm going to tell you it costs seven fifty. <laughs> yeah, Eight bills. Yeah, seven fifty. Eight bills, maybe. Depends on how far I've got to travel. The difference with you would be, you would find a £700 camera and tell me it's the £1,500 brand new one. And I say, what's all these scratches? He said, well, I'm going to be all right to them. <laughs> but that's what you would do. So I might scrape a 50 you're scraping another seven fifty. Let's keep it real. I know you, but and this is why nobody puts you in charge of finances. Can I say Your son to you? doesn't even get. He's got his own finances. He doesn't even trust you. Can I say something to you, C six? You're a general, full general. That's why you, even your ticket site, everybody uses Ticketmaster's, Shobs, or Skidder, or Blocko, <laughs> or Blocko. Yeah, yeah. You got C six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All money's coming to my account. No, but it's, again, there's no middle that man. there is that come to me. That there is to save. That's the that is to save. You know what it is? I don't. At least on them sites, they've got guarantee. <laughs> they cancel. They get back their money they, instantly. <laughs> the money they will leave the, the, the account that they until the event is secure and finished, and all the feedback coming. Yeah, it was all right. Did you go had a good time. Yeah, all right then. All right, let me give them their money now. You did not. You just emailing. Can I have my money back, please? C six. Hello. You didn't see my last email. <laughs> Hi. No, my events. My events <laughs> going on. The difference is why should let's let's keep this real. This is a serious conversation. Why should we have to pay a middle party for anything? Like to be so. I w- you want to come to my dance? I'm putting on the dance. Back in the day, you I'd say come to the barber shop. I got a ticket book at the barber shop. Go around the record shop. We got a ticket book at the record shop. Or I'll, you give me a call if you want three or more. I'll come and deliver them. That's it. Direct to consumer. Now the world's gone internet. You got to go shubs. Now shubs make one fifty off of every single ticket sold for every single event. I don't even think it's one fifty. I think they now they add a small, but it's a percentage now. So every single ticket sold just to house it on their website. They don't do nothing else. They just house it on their website. But I want twenty pound for my ticket. Yeah, you should be paying me twenty pounds. But you do get your twenty pounds. But Shubs charge you twenty one fifty or whatever. Twenty two, so, something. Or yeah. twenty two. So you have to pay more just because I'm lazy, and I put it on Shubs. Well, I've cut that out. You come directly to consumer again. You come to me. My tickets are twenty pounds. You give me twenty pounds. That's done. We don't pay a middleman for no reason. That's all I'm doing. So I'm not trying to scam no eyes. I'm keeping it thorough. I just wanna. Take out the middleman. It's unnecessary. They've got a website. I've got a website. Why am I? Why can't I use my own? But now, <laughs> yeah, after all, so can I say something to you? The way that it was a straight face, and that's the no. Gin- but let's keep it that's real. That's the Gino in you. No, let's keep it no, real. Well, Tell me what's Gino about it. Because all that money is getting to your account. It could be. It's my. I'm putting on the dance. Yeah, but it's. They're you, not get, cut, you get but exactly. They're not, out, they're not like they're taking twenty pound and then taking night and you're getting nineteen pound. You're getting your same twenty pounds. No, but you're getting your money. The, what about the consumer? What about my raver? Why can't I care about my raver? The person that's coming care to the about event. Your raver. You don't care about your raver because I'm t- I 100%. Let me just break this down, pom pom neck. You don't care about your raver because if you was in your, there's been enough people in your rave. They probably. Like on the floor, vomit, 
and had a good time and the ambulance had to take them home. You ain't caught up the next day saying, you know, let me phone and see that person that dropped on the floor and let me see if they're all right. Yeah, or that person, if God forbid someone got stabbed in your rave, you're not going there into the hospital no next day and coming with hospital. No, no one ain't nerves. getting stabbed in my rave. I didn't, I'm I, the drunk then, the drunk then, and jumped don't down. And, 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 don't, don't, how dare you wish that stuff? All right, me. forget the let me take that back then. The drunk on the floor, vomit, yeah, can't move. Self inflicted. You're not gonna phone them next day. Why would I? Self inflicted. You're an adult. But you care about your you're people. You're an adult. You're an but adult. You care, C6. You're an adult. But you care, did. But you listen, care, did. I'm not stupid. I don't. You see an adult. I'm see, not stupid. You see an adult. Right, you care for your you fucking see an adult, consumers. You see an off, adult man. that decides to drink loads of alcohol and get themselves paralytic. Yeah. That's on them. No, but, but it's like I, your I rave. Can, they I came say, to your rave and got because they had so much good time. They said, "Fuck it, let's this drink." I used doing two for ones. <laughs> I think you're. I think you're an absolute asshole. We know this. What about when the people? Okay, listen. Okay, cool. <laughs> what about when the people go to Dizzle's Madhouse? No, we're not doing compared to Okay, you know what? Listen, all right, cool, no, cool. All right, listen, show. listen. My, I got shit. a dance. I've I got, never said I can. Hold on, one second. No. no, wait, wait. You shut your mouth for a second, young man. <laughs> wow. I've got a. My next dance, yeah, is on the twenty eighth of December. Oh, we're plugging the now. journey. Are we plugging your dance? Yeah. Now you can plug yourself, brother. <laughs> yeah, why? Your, 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 your next dance is this month. Yeah. Yeah? What is it? Barbies and models or something, yeah? Dolly's, so you don't even know much Dolly, shit. <laughs> okay, Barbies and Dolly's. Dolly's and Barbies yeah, Dolly's edition. and Barbies, the yard, the yard, the yard edition, yeah? And your, we're going to see how you operate your dance. I'm going to feel, I'm going to be there with my camcorder. So what? We're gonna, that's going to be a Patreon special because I'm going to, I'm going to highlight all of your flaws in your dance. I'm going to walk through health and safety. I'm going to point it out. Anything, any corner you've cut, I'm putting it on Patreon. Okay. All right, that's it. Because let's see if you care about your people. Can I say something to you? <laughs> I'm not getting nervous. No, I'm not getting nervous. Yeah. I look at you like you're such an idiot. For a girl, man, you're a fool, fool, by yeah, the way. I'm going to put it on Patreon. No, you're a fool. Okay. Because I, I, I never come dollies, up. Dollies and Barbies. Yeah, what is a dolly now. and a Barbie? What? what? No, we're, we're Why are we adults? Yeah, yeah, Ain't we adults? What are we doing there? <laughs> You say only plastic girl can go into your dance. You idiot. Can I say something to you? You're chatting shit and you're, you're clutching at straws, rude boy. You're clutching that straws. You're proper 90s guy, rude boy. Anyway, let's move on, man. Yeah, because you're chatting like, you're shit. You're a bully, man. It's chatting beer back like here for my, pe- my pe- You're I just do. a thief. I care about a them. Thief. A thief. I'm a lot more trustworthy you're than you. Thief. 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 <laughs> you're a thief. Why are you putting that sound on the T? You're an idiot. You know? Anyway, let's move on, mate. Let's move on. Let's move on. You, all right, I'm gonna tell you something, people. I've come to I've, I've come to the house today, and he was sleeping. And you're yeah. gonna realize every time this man's tired, he tries to bully me. <sighs> Could you? But, but bro, it's, it's it's five o'clock in the afternoon. Why are you sleeping? I want to sleep. I was napping. Is napping not sleeping? Napping is not sleeping. I, if you looked at my story, I went. I took my daughter for breakfast, not for brunch, late this afternoon, okay. and we've done a, a bit of shopping. Yeah. And I came back. I said I can't really do nothing because I'm waiting to see six. So since I'm not doing nothing, I'm just. What it's, we'll do. It's, so I don't it, watch TV. It's, it's napping. It's so napping. So napping so not asleep. So come. It's napping not asleep. If it's sleeping, you'll be, be at the door right now. Puss with face. You'll be at the door thinking, "This man." Yeah. So okay, because uh, like when the um the the burglar guy was trying to get into your yard. Why? Do you, that's not even funny. You're no. just stupid. Look at you laughing. <laughs> How's that funny? You got someone trying to it, someone trying to break into my house, and now you're laughing. You put it out there for you put it out there, bro, Yeah, what? but I never put it out there for comedy. <laughs> of course you did. How did I? Someone break into my house, then I could have killed them if I was. You if didn't, the, but uh, was but, so I think, then, if, same scenario. Wait, hold on, hold on. Say, say if it happened to you, and then you was up, and and you could have caught them. Like, what would you have done, Caesar? Be honest. Be honest, Caesar. Big man, thing. Would you somebody done? trying to break into my yard? Yeah. And and I was and then I was alerted to it. Yeah, I'd go and greet them at the door. I say what? Hey! I might not say nothing. I make them run off. Hey! I might not say nothing. I'm greet them with a little present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that thing where the, there's a there's a clip here when the guy is trying to put his hand through the letterbox mm. and then open the door? Have you seen it? And mm. then the black guy comes out with a like an iron pole mm. and sp- and bust the man's wrist. You could you can tell the wrist, bro. The way the man was screaming. Yeah, you get we get a present like that. Bust a man's head like clean. Mm. Yeah, it's straight. You what? You trying to? I just open the door and just claw him with a hammer or something. Mm. Probably end up in jail for. A, but until I can get myself 
once I can prove, because the ring doorbell will prove that he was trying to break in, I was protecting my family. I'll be yeah, but, 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 but with that now, let's go back to that law thing in Britain. Like, Stand your ground. You can't, yeah. you can't do nothing. You can. You can't do fuck all. You can go to prison. I know you're if prison, I, but it'll be it'll be brief. It's, 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 I know because remember I don't have <coughs> there's, there's no in between with me. So I would have saw him and then gone red worse than my pity than me in here. And you understand what I'm saying? You've got teeth and crackhead, yeah. and I catch you. Oh god! No, but the thing is, it's all right. Cool. There's there's a separation. If you if he breaks in, and as he busts the door, you lick him once with something that you can prove. He licks once. It, but then you then you've got pure justification. That's what I'm saying. But anything no, else no one is don't lick once C six. But that's the problem. No one don't fucking lick once. Why not? Once. If it's a good enough lick, then once is good enough. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hold on. So and we're sort like that. We're not boxers. On, we're on, not gonna get on. a clean shot. Hold on. You got a pipe. The first you shot gonna be the, the you got a metal pipe. pipe that's yeah. even worse. They clout him, cross his face, and he knock out. Where are you gonna beat him? You're fucked. You lick him once with a pipe, and you're just all right. His face is dented. He's got all the pipe, the pipe mark in his well, inside. Say, all right, this is hypothetical. No, so you're just chatting, man. Hypothetical. Listen, you you're fixing a leak in your yard, so you got a wrench. This man breaks into your yard while you got the wrench in your hand, yeah. and you clout him with the wrench. Yeah. One clout. It's proved that he's broken on the ring doorbell, so you've got video evidence. With Hold the, on. With and the you video, and you <laughs> cleaning the, you you had yeah, the wrench in your hand. With you the video him, no, but you got you got evidence, man, because you bought stuff from Screw Fitz earlier on in that day. You've got evidence. You got leaky pipe, and t- yeah, you got proof. And you clout him once with the wrench. Once you get away with it. If you batter him with it. Then it, you you'd probably face the consequences. But a one clout, this man broke into. Why my yard. would you clout him though? Because he's broken into my yard. I got to protect my family. Yeah, but he didn't. He wasn't attacking you. He just broke in. I, okay, then the clout was a, did this self defense. No, but he wasn't even trying to do nothing. How to do you? you know, I don't know that. He broke in and he rushed towards me. Eh? He rushed towards me. Why, why would he rush towards you if he's come to teeth something? Because he's realized that uh, he probably thought that the house was empty. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's <laughs> thought the house was empty clearly, and then he's seen me and he's tried to attack me. So I clout him with this thing. Even though he saw you have the... Um, he didn't run off. He ran towards me. So even though he ran towards you, even yeah, though so you I had the big it. metal yeah. clot thing yeah. in your hand, mm-hmm. you still ran towards you. Yeah. Little skinny cracking guy with no yeah. jaw line. Yeah. He he's saw desperate. you. He's, he's high on drugs. He's desperate. We spoke about the drugs. He can't maintain his habit. I didn't say I didn't say you licked him and it just screamed. It, it sc- scraped him. It didn't even connect. What are you going to do? I might have to clot him again. <laughs> 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 See, the one Imagine you get a wicked clout, yeah? But trees trees high. It don't phase him. Yeah. Then you gotta run. You gotta run, leave him, you leave him in your yard. Why? You clout him with a you clout him with a wrench. Whoop boom! A big lick crack. Looks at you. Come on! I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. Take it yard, take it yard, take it. The safe is around there. The code is three four two one. Gone. Yeah, yeah. No, these yeah. crackers are brazens, though, man. No, but he, that's one of your brethren, clearly. Clearly. I've seen that guy with you. That's because I said I've seen that cracker. guy with you. You know that's what I'm talking about, That's because like, like I said your cousin. <laughs> no, no, I've seen that guy that's with you. Hold on, is that not the guy? That, is that you, 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 you couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> let it lie, I've seen it? that guy with you. I've seen you that guy. You couldn't let it lie. I've seen that you guy. Know, guy like, with that's you. what I said. If you watch the video, people go and watch the video. It's on my Instagram, on my TikTok. And you'll see um, C6's cousin breaking into my house, and you see me even saying, referring to, get, to C6. He just wanted to get the camera back. Yeah, so. <laughs> get, I told him, go get the camera back. Go, go and watch um, my, my, my thing, and we call it, and you'll see C6's cousin. Okay. We've got some nice dilemmas here for you today. Yeah, let's go. I don't know what you do, <coughs> do to me. Your body's like, mm, to me. You know what, yeah? Yeah. The dilemmas are really, really coming in thick and fast. Bro, the, I got my inbox is full. I get personal like messages or people asking me for advice. I feel like I feel like, you know Feel like what? I feel like a bit of an agony uncle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I try to help as much as I can. I've been giving like advice to people that have been messaging me privately and I'm like, rah, like they people really value my opinion, so I respect you guys. Thank you so much. Do you know what I mean? I, and um, I try not to take the piss out of your dilemmas, unlike some people. <laughs> all, right, all right, cool. This one's a long one, but okay, I'm gonna go for it because you're gonna have to go for it. <laughs> Our next one, let me see if I. Oh. Don't worry, man. Just go for it, man. 
two is all part of the process. Take your time. Sound out the letters. Hi, this one C six. My husband and I just had a baby. We did not have sex for eight weeks. We finally had sex, and he gave me an STD. Ross Clark. He claimed that he felt neglected and slept with a prosy. Oh, prostitute. Only once, and the condom busted. Rotted cop. That's no excuse to me. I no longer trust him, and I'm scared of catch, catching something, something. so I won't sleep with him. And I don't know if we really got a marriage anymore, but I don't want my child to miss out on their father. As men, how do you deal with this? Wow. I don't know why you do, do to me. Your body is like it to me. <laughs> See at the end of the show. I'm going to say the video of this like, Indian guy singing that song. Yeah, I see it on your thing. <laughs> yeah, but, but, it's just like, but it's not it's not even relevant to this. It's like, the people that... The, the woman's husband cheated on her and gave her an SD <laughs> and yeah, you're singing the song. You're, you're <laughs> idiot. It's, it's the thing. Your body's like, it to me. All right, all right. You know well, she gave you STD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, EM. All right, you see the thing is, yeah, bringing all my diseases is 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 the violation. It's the, the big, worst, the biggest violation. It is. That's what was one of my yeah. worst nightmare when I had a girl. Wow, that's that's mad me saying it like that. I'm sounding like a cheater. I like to say, boy, I used to cheat and I used to be scared that I'd come and bring my girl or something. I didn't say that, so take that back. Yeah, go on. What are you saying? Bring it, bring like. Cheating on your on your partner and then like having a baby out of the road or bringing on a disease is like, wrong, man. That's the disrespect. It's horrible, nasty. Yeah, what, well, it's, it's all a disrespect, but that's where it gets crazy. But you see what happens here yeah, when <coughs> when women get pregnant, yeah, it can go up one or two ways, in it. She could be like mad horny, and your sex life will just go crazy. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the man can't even keep up mm-hmm. with how much she wants sex, in it. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it goes the other way and she's not into it. And then obviously the process of having a baby and then just not being able to have sex after the, like, so he potentially hasn't had sex with his woman for months and months, potentially. You're sounding like no, you're no, I'm the just guy saying, though. I'm not, huh? You sound like you're justifying it for the guy. No, just let me finish, bro. Then fucking finish. You're just, just over chatting like you're fucking please, Michael Prophet. Please don't be silly. Please don't be silly. Your love is all I want, baby. That's who's like Michael Prophet. What are we doing here? So you're not a DJ because you don't even know there's no what one song that like Michael Prophet sing, and you say you're a fucking what big do, DJ. What are we doing here? Dickhead. What are we doing here? People, big up Michael Prophet. Big deal. Yeah. Your love is all I want, baby. Uh, we're gonna see what's, 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 what's <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What are we doing? So I'm not justifying at all. What I am saying is, without the lines of communication being open, he probably didn't know what to like. I'm sure he could have got pleasure from his woman another way if they had spoken and he says he. Another way, fucking abati. No, don't be stupid. Then whatever way you're talking about? What are you talking about? She give him. She can give him head. She can wank him off. She could. He could do whatever. Like they could watch a movie and do. He could just be a part. He could. There could be some pleasure. He could release. But his woman can be involved. It might not have to be vaginal sex, but she can do something. So she's a part of it. He don't feel neglected. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. But if it's been written off, don't talk to me. Don't like nothing to do. Like his s- desires are not good, gonna disappear as well. His body's not going through what your body's going through. So this is why I always say communication is very, very important. Because him feeling neglected is, in his mind has justified him to go and do what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I just want to release. But he could have he could have been doing that with her. Just wouldn't be the same way, but it would be a part of it. Do you know what I'm saying? So he's fucked up. And then to bring home the disease, this is why another thing, you sleep with a prostitute and the condom bus and you don't get yourself checked up, then you're a, you're a, you're a big waste. Yeah, very irresponsible. You're a big waste. Yeah. That's very ir- irresponsible. 
Brother, I swear, if I ever done ch- ch- slept with a prostitute and a condom, but I would, my heart would stop. Because my vision of what they've got is crazy. Like, the, ah, my heart would stop. <laughs> I come home that night and, babes, you okay? I just need to go to the hospital tomorrow. I'd yeah. want to test tomorrow. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be, um, you just confess. <laughs> yeah, I'd be paroled. You think you're going to dead anyway? You think you're dead? <laughs> so yeah, he, he not what you can say to me right now is, is, to, is gonna is what I'm getting to is gonna no, make me feel no. any much worse. But without without like, I do think that they should speak. I'm not saying she should dash away her relationship because of this. Mm-hmm. I think if he felt neglected genuinely and he didn't feel that he could speak to you, and you didn't notice his signs, then you got to work on your communication together. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can get over this. Do you get what I'm saying? Because there's obviously something deeper than just the the indiscretion of sleeping with someone else. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because of what's behind it. Ne- feeling neglected is a, is a serious thing. Because when women go through um, pregnancy and childbirth, they, they go through a lot. You can never take that away from what they go through, but men go through a lot as well. That's a an emotional time, and we we like we're told that we should just carry on. You know, like like it's a big thing to be involved in. There's massive changes in your life, your missus' life, your family. You got this new baby, but you got to keep going work. Mm-hmm. You just got to keep things going. No one asks you anything. You just got to just keep treading on. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So if he felt neglected on top of all of that. He's just acted out of character. So I would say give him a, have a proper sit down conversation and you probably can get over it. So Go on, that's good advice. Because me, I said, why? I don't even know what advice I would give, to be fair. Yeah. But it wouldn't have been good like that. No, because like, with like a typical cheating thing, you know, like the girl give you everything, but your man just out there, just live, doing his thing. There's, there's no justification. There's no, there's nothing that you can even fathom to say. He just, a man just being a man just want to do what he want to do. Mm. Cool. But this guy says he felt neglected. Now that feeling, that might have triggered the response from, he might have felt neglected as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? And and then when he's neglected, he just goes into, he does whatever he wants and nobody can't tell him anything because it's an old tr- trigger it's, response. But it's, cause it's true because relationships are crazy in a certain way because I right, then... I right, say I know some bit people that've been a man and woman they've been together for 25 years mm. say 25 years and they got kids together and all that but then the man went out and cheated and got a girl pregnant yeah so now there's a the next woman out there pregnant maybe probably one or two mm. people are cussing her for st- still staying with the man you get me mm. but even my s- sister broke down certain things to me like in the sense of They've got 25 years together. Why would she throw away all that good life from tick and tin to, you understand, to now make someone just get him for just, you know what I mean? Overpriced and someone's got him for two years now where you've built him up and where he's, he's doing things now. And so you must let go of that just for like a one mistake or whatever. <coughs> I do get, I get it. It's, it's hard, but it's true to be fair. Because you've got all these years with that person. They they, right, they made a mistake. But you're going to make now that the new person reap all the benefits of when you first, you know, getting the man ready made now. When you never had him, he wasn't ready made. Now he's ready made. I think I think looking at it from a time perspective is probably the wrong way. And it? it's about what you guys have achieved and what you've got left to come. Because you, you, we know we've got old friendships that and old relationships and all that that just been there for years and we just stuck with it because of time. Mm-hmm. But it actually means nothing. You see what I'm saying? Just because you've been together 20 years, if you don't love and respect each other and deal with each other properly, then it actually don't mean anything. Um, what's the reason behind it? So he was with her for 25 years. Mm-hmm. No one knows. She could have... She could have they could have been sleeping separate. You don't even, you know how much couples are sec- sexless relationships mm-hmm. and, and like no intimacy, no, no talking, no friendship. Yeah. They got no basis to their relationship. So they got to really look at what's behind it. So sometimes it isn't worth giving up, especially if you can see where you guys went wrong and fix that. Then you can get back to what you had. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Cause sometimes we just give up. We give up for the little things and not look at the big problems. So, 
yeah, I would say ev- everything is worth like breaking down, dissecting, and if you can fix it, fix it. Because it's not, it's not starting again isn't always guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Is it me? So, yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, it's true. So sometimes don't stay for because it's time. As I'm, all I'm saying is try and find out in any situation, find out why. Yeah. And if you can fix the why, then you can usually fix the problem. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like sometimes, as I said, going back to that thing, if the man genuinely felt neglected, could have been eight weeks, just nothing. She ain't even communicating. And, and rightfully so, she's going through what she's going through. But they're supposed to be going through it together. What the man suffers is what the man suffers. What the woman suffers is what the woman... It's, and that's, it's different and that's the things number one though. thing in the relationship. People don't know to um, communicate. Communication is the biggest key to keep it together communicate mm. and both understand both there's not it's not taking like you know one person's pain when mm. and neglecting another person's mm. pain do you know what i mean with so you have to you just gotta work it out and sometimes you know like we as men should be able to say when we feel like sometimes we bottle it we bottle everything up no, sometimes and, and we, just and just, not, not, and just not and just not talk. Oh, sometimes I won't bottle it up. Sometimes I like it's like I try to. I want like a mind reader. Yeah. I don't want to say. I want you to know what's wrong. Yeah, but that's you. but then that's kind of crazy. I know, it's, but it's, it's stupid. But worse if she's just had a baby and she's got big problems. Mm-hmm. Then it's worse because she's all, she is in her own going through what she's going through. But she's unsympathetic to me because she thinks because she had the baby and she push it yeah, out, yeah. she's the one in great. Because no, everybody looks at, <coughs> everyone looks at their problems and they grade their problems, innit? So, and then they look at, well, you don't have problems like me. You understand? So, I've just, I've just lost my leg. You can't tell me anything because I've just lost my leg. Mm. It just, so what if you've lost your hand? A leg is more important. Than, you know, everyone starts weighing stuff up. Like, but the fact is, we've both got a problem. So we should both be able to communicate our problems and how you feel. So the fact I lost my leg is one thing, but you've lost your hand. So that makes you feel a certain type of way. It's not a graded thing. And I see this happen all the time. Well, I'm stressed. So I didn't, well, I'm stressed. You know what I'm saying? And everyone's just focused on me, 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 me. But if you're in a relationship, then you have to, it's a two-way street all the time. Mm-hmm. So even if I'm going through, how, did, how are you feeling? How does that make you feel? You got what I'm saying? And he, or in this case, the man should say, listen, babes, I know you're going through a lot, but listen, I'm starting to feel neglected. Mm-hmm. Like, I just need to know that we're still good. I need to still know that you find me attractive. I need to find, you still love me. Like, you know, I'm hello horny. And, I'm, and, what's after but thing women like? find that mo- most, cause I've, I've, I've seen it and I've been with women like, see like men, if you're busy and you're not even pre and women's sex like that, they, they notice it. And start feeling insecure with themselves, you know, like, oh, why is he not touching me? Why do like men don't think like that, but women like they start getting to their men feelings. Don't think like that. I, I don't know. Well, well you, the man just said the like man that. just said he just the man just said he felt neglected, and he went and sexually went somewhere else, so he probably felt sexually neglected. Yes, yeah, sexually neglected. People feel like that, of course. People, if your woman, no, don't, if your woman doesn't, no, but, listen, if your woman doesn't compliment you look on you in a certain way all the stuff she used to do and you know what i'm saying like she doesn't do anything to come on to you or anything how long before you start thinking well hold on what am to me then or are you telling me because you're a man that will never happen no it doesn't happen to everybody like so so what are you talking about you twat what are you talking about it's not a woman thing it's it's not everybody goes through that abusive no, but you can't. You, you're trying to rub out the man them, and you're always no, onto the man them. You, you're always dissing them, brother. What are yes, we doing? It's a sarcastic piece of shit. What was that? You like? probably wouldn't even realize, but it's the show hasn't been cut a minute ago because same thing I was talking about. Cease it's taking money out of the budget and buy it. Say, yeah, I'm gonna buy batteries because the camera and it. And then he's buying these batteries that, that last four seconds. Where's the fucking money? Because you have little teeth in face. If you look back, you can see he's looking. Your little teeth in. Face. Your teeth. You're a thief. At least they know with me. Made, they I they see what they get. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want that. No, no, this guy. Ooh, no, I, it's not for me. You, there's no label. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what they're going to get. It's yeah. a pretty packaging. Yeah. It's not pre- it's nice Ambiguous. Yeah. You think, mm, what is this? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, And then when they get there, cool. fucked. Cool. Uh, uh, it's just a battery, bro. It's a battery. 
It's about, it's about you about cost you struggling money. with your fucking face, bro. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Come with, here the appears. <laughs> here the appears. Uh, let's move on. So, yeah, lady, give, give, and you've just had a baby, so give your man a chance. Isn't give it, your man? family a chance. Like, give your family. Let's, let's not give up so quickly. That's the advice. Despite what you go through, the, forget what your friend said. G- whatever you want to do, if you want to give him a second chance, then you do that. Yeah, cause you're punani, and now you have to wash it at night time and soak it and turn it down like plate. <laughs> Just what he said. Just what he said. Okay, okay, Vanessa. Sorry. All right. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. We don't want ya. Fling it. I'm fling my my fling it, bro. phone. It's a phone, bro. Fling it, man. It's a one hand catch. You know, know you're rude. Bad, man. Hi, bros. I've been talking to a lady online for about six months. I said online. This is going. This is going left already. Red yeah. flag. Mm-hmm. We got on so well. We decided to meet up. She did not look like her picture, and more standard. <laughs> yeah, and more like the girl standard. next door. And she said, "I I was shorter than she expected." Um, but we decided to continue with the date. So what did she, she say? So he was shorter than she, than she expected. Mm-hmm. And he, she wasn't glamorous. She just liked the girl next door. Yeah. Um, we went to Hakkasan and had a lovely meal and a few cocktails, which I paid for. That's got dickhead. Dickhead. Because you know, he's, that's a, that's a money. Yeah, dickhead. He's fully trying to impress her. Dickhead. Sure, I paid for. And what I thought was a great conversation. <laughs> When I got home, she blocked me from all. Dickhead! I told you, dickhead! <laughs> I knew it was a dickhead when I heard him. You from him talking, I knew it was a dickhead. Yo, people, listen. Make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash Elephant in the Room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right, because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and they're going to have the opportunities. All right, so jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room, all right? So join us over on Patreon and peace.